All right, what's up, guys? So, um, since I'm too lazy to actually watch film, like by myself, uh, I felt like this is probably a good combination of um, creating content and uh, actually learning some jujitsu for myself. So I'm gonna do a film study, hopefully every day on maybe probably just one match um i did like a trial run yesterday and like the the recording system like just totally uh caved in on itself so hopefully this is better um hopefully it's not like potato quality so uh yeah i put together a list of guys i'm gonna go through and uh, the different matches i want to uh, go over First up is Ryan Hall. I'll probably do him for like a week or so. Um, and then first up is uh, his match with Jeff Glover, um, which is, if you get, don't know these guys, these are Ryan Hall and Jeff Glover, like deep half wizards. And uh, it just so happens to be my favorite position. So I'm going to start with that. And it's for uh, ADCC third place. So that's pretty exciting. So Ryan Hall, um, main achievements, he won the trials, and then in tw 2009, and then took third place in ADCC. So this is going to be that third place match against Jeff Glover. All right. Boom. So this is 145. Small guys, Ryan Hall, Jeff Glover. Uh, since I, I I did this already yesterday, so I kind of know what to expect. Uh, Ryan Hall is kind of in this dope mount here, and he's able to pin uh, Glover's bottom leg down and pass, and t tries to take the back pretty early here. Uh, but as you can see, Glover. Gets his back to the ground, and he's able to escape and come up a little bit. <clears throat> Hall's try, Hall tries to invert uh, and retain his guard, but they kind of end up back in neutral. So... Glover, uh, Hall kind of steps around. Glover is kind of going for... He's comfortable here because this is kind of like a deep path. He's all he's underneath him, but Hall kind of steps around to like this honey hole position. And since Hall is the, the owner of 50-50 gym... Oh, the, this is also a sneaky little thing that I didn't really catch yesterday. Glover, also known for his Dirty Darces. His newest instructional is called Dirty Darcing. So this was a nice little, I don't know, fake attempt. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it, what Glover's, if Glover really, maybe just really try to sell it here. But that was pretty neat. Um, so the Hulk comes back around, uh, Glover goes deep half, Glover has the outside, um, the outside foot on the calf, and he elevates it, so he's able to, um, he has his arm around Hall's hip, and then he's elevating Hall's, uh, lower leg with his leg, his outside leg, Hall does something interesting here where he grabs on Glover's other leg <clears throat> to uh, threaten a knee bar or something like that. But So Glover just decides to back out. So Glover's just content, I guess, right here. But yeah, lots of like backstepping and uh, 
changing uh, the angle for Hall. So what's cool here is that this guillotine uh, Hall slaps it on here. Um, Glover immediately recognizes it, gets the fuck out of the way of uh, Hall's hips. Like that. That's the two parts to a guillotine. Uh, Learn from Coach Casey. I'm not, not saying I, I know this for certain, but two parts of guillotine is uh, the circle around the head, either arm in or arm out, and uh, controlling the hips. So if the guy's hips are free, uh, like Glover does here, he rolls and is able to get away. Uh, he's he. he He's not in a stable, like, you, you can't, like, really choke anybody without controlling their hips because they can always escape and try to relieve the pressure. So Hall goes to a anaconda here, which is interesting because you can, you see him trying to grab his bicep here, his arm trying to go up here. Glover is also recognizes this and gets his back to the mat and gets away. And they, they acknowledge that this is a crazy match. Uh, Glover double feet on the uh, on the one foot. So he's got three things on Hall's foot. Not entirely sure where he's going with this, but I think this is a AG for Marjim calls this coconut guard. Like he does this weird thing too, so I don't know. I don't know if this is like an actual thing, but yeah, notice how how low Glover gets. Like he just gets super low on the Hall's heel for like a low single. He doesn't like drive or anything, but maybe he's trying to he was trying to uh, bait Hall to like back step, and then he would come up into that little X guard position there. Butterfly hooks, one deep, one kind of shallow on the shin there. Like it's not, that's not a great position for a butterfly hook. But I'm sure Glover knows that and he's trying to do something. Glover with the deep half goes to straight, I don't know, X guard. And then he goes to straight Ashi here. Yep. Has to dig for Hall's heel. Hall knows this very well. Since he he is the owner of 5050 Gym, he, he, he probably should know how to get himself out of a leg lock or two. So he kind of sits up uh, to protect the heel initially, but then he gets that foot down on the mat so he's able to get that foot down and he's able to bring his knee back and get up stand to stand up there boom and he immediately this is awesome steps around to take the back it's a crazy angle or like crazy like read that oh hey the back is open right here We're like right after I mean the, that's the best time to attack is after you've defended right like you, the other person is like after you get out just go right back to attacking it's awesome um, so I'm not sure if Glover allowed this or if he was like okay with conceding this because he goes into like a, a deep half but esque grip like he puts his arm he voluntarily puts his arm underneath Hall's leg and I th maybe he was thinking about going deep half but uh, I guess he uh, he got out anyway so
Like, what are we doing? The weird feet thing. Two feet on the one leg. Paul with the this heavy knee. Glover trying to go deep half. So it has a shin in the middle there. Glover and butterfly again. With the leg extended, so Paul just nopes out of there. Paul's like, I, I know when I'm extended. Glover doing Glover things. Deep, happy things. Almost. But what, what's keeping um, Glover from going to deep half is I get in this position a lot. Not, not saying that. Uh, um, is that you the, the meat comes across the belly and then you kind of like hold it, you're holding onto the leg. So that's preventing Glover from going fully underneath him because Paul is heavy on that knee. Glover is going for like a little knee bar here. If you didn't see that. So the reason Glover is okay with is not being in like a regular half guard, but he's he's got this top leg across and his bottom leg is behind this, uh, the right leg of Hall. He's trying to invert and catch a knee bar here, but it didn't, doesn't. Inverts. Paul again in that kind of uh, putting Glover or Glover putting himself there. I don't know. I don't know what the kind of in a dope mount, but Paul's knee isn't in the middle of the legs this time around. Um, I would imagine Glover is putting himself there. Like Glover knows that this, he, he probably wants something. Yeah, he's trying to grab that, this deep half on this side. But oh, this is super dope. Actually, I'll, I'll play it full speed here. Boom, truck roll. So I do this, well, not, not that. I'm trying to relate it to my game because I'm trying to study and add on things to my game, but it's kind of cool to see like people doing this like 10 years ago, before I even started jujitsu. The, this the jujitsu existed before before I started, not not saying that it uh, I I am jujitsu, but it's interesting to see this that uh, since uh, Hall's knee is across there is very heavy and is he's got Glover's hips turned, so see Glover's knees are pointing this direction. Uh, Hall can roll over his left shoulder to truck roll. He has it very loose. I, I tend to do that too to keep it more of a surprise. He, I, I can't really tell if he locks the legs in like a lockdown or not, but he's he's at least able to get across perpendicular to Glover's hips and attempt to uh, <laughs> do some uh, uh, twistering, maybe. Like he, but Glover is also 
that are very adept in Tenth Planet stuff. So he's like, get out of here. This is actually pretty good for me because I, I get here all the time. Like People do that knee cut. Boom. I can feel that. I feel... Paul's pass here. It's just vicious. Glover tries to get that that butterfly hook in. Paul just boom. Leg pummels. And then there. Just steps around. All goes directly to the back. Steps around and just does a like another truck entry basically to the back to see how he's perpendicular to Glover. He's his hips are on oops, went too far back. Um, Glover's hips are on top of Paul's hips. So that's kind of determines who has the, the advantage there for that small second of a position. Glover again on the low single. Brian Hall stepping back to like a honey hole. He's got the secondary leg controlled. He's grabbing Glover's bottom legs and the secondary leg so he can possibly step back in the honey hole. Um, not entirely sure what else he's looking to do. I think, yeah, he does try to sit it in this honey hole. He's trying to work some kind of leg lock there. Okay, yeah, now this is important because it's the second half of ADCC, uh, this ADCC round. So first round, there's no points. In the second half, there are points. So it's 0-0, zero, zero, as you can see in the background there. So this is why they're standing. And uh, if you pull guard, you lose a point, I believe. So, uh, yeah. They have to get a takedown. So good more for stalling. Crazy that the, the stands are empty here in this, whatever, wherever they're doing this at. Glover on the single and double. Paul rolls. Paul retains a guard, inverts and retains guard, so he is not taken down, technically. That's not a. Not that I know exactly what the ADCC takedown rules are, but I know. At least that much. So we get to see yeah, Hall play some guard. We've just seen Glover pull guard and play guard this whole time. Uh, and Hall's passing, but here we get to see Glover's passing and Hall's guard. Hall inverting. And here's, yeah, key key moment in the match is Paul notices that Glover is just is just kind of sitting on his feet, the tops of his feet, and on his knees. Like he's got no forward driving pressure. So gets him up. He sees that again and then boom, just doubles. He recognizes that and just comes up on a double, and Glover can't push back because he's on his, the tops of his feet. So he has to stand up in order to not get swept, to not just get drunk, driven over. Hall gets to the back and gets this interesting uh, hook through the middle of his legs, 
and then trying like walking around his the, the torso and his legs. So now I think that's his. At some point, he like motions to his coach, like, "Oh, is that too?" Yeah, because he doesn't get like both hooks in, at least here. And he's good with just chilling here. That's two, yeah. So I think it's because, yeah, he went from guard to almost on the back. So he's trying to trap Glover's arm there. That was an interesting little battle. Uh, let's see there. Yeah. So Glover's trying to grab the arm, and then Hall realizes, hey, I can trap out the arm. And Glover realizing his arm could get trapped, retracts it. So I don't know. It's it's interesting seeing like the little fights there. Glover trying to make some, something happen here. It's hard when Ryan Hall's on your back. So Ryan Hall takes the back, tries to get that bottom hook in. Glover, knowing that that's where he needs to, to escape to, he gets his... So... Paul's choking arm is on the, uh, the far side. And when Glover's escape, he realizes he needs to get his head and his shoulders this way, like towards the camera. And he does. He gets the hand, his head towards the ground and tries to back out. He does a little deep half move two hands behind the leg there to escape the hall. Maybe Glover's just gassed or something, but Hall's able to just kind of step around, retake the back. As Glover's trying to deep half that leg, but ends up just kind of trapping himself. So, yep. Anyways, I think that was the one of the more exciting matches. Uh, well, that I've, I've only really seen 2019 ADCC, but I would imagine this is one of the top ones as well. So let me know what you think of this. Uh, I'll try to do more, probably one every day. And see you guys.